everybody, I am Meg from Lovely Jubbly Furniture and welcome back to my channel. I am really excited today to show you a quick flip on a little vanity that I found on Facebook Marketplace. Um, it was for my daughter's bedroom and I knew seeing it that it was perfect for her. She's been wanting to put her hairbands and lip chaps and things like that on something. So I found her this vanity and we had to get it into her bedroom really fast. So it was a quick project. And because it was quite small, I used, as you will see in the video, a spray primer called Bin 123. It's a perfect for stuff like this that are small, like small tables. And I actually had some leftover primer in the can, so that was a really good saver. So I can use it on another piece. So I really hope that you enjoy this video. If you are new here, I am a painter, furniture painter, and a refinisher. So enjoy the video, watch it, let me know what you think, and I hope you enjoy. Here is the vanity. This is what you will need to refinish this piece. So I was having trouble, so I had to use my knee to take off this mirror, but you want to take off the mirror to paint it separately, just like this. So here it is, all ready to be sanded. I sanded it with 20, 220 grit sandpaper just to step it up so that the paint has a really good surface to adhere to and not that glossy finish. And here it is all scuffed up. And then I used a cleaner to clean it all. This is the bin, or sorry, Bullseye 123 Primer by Zinzer. It's really good for small projects like this. Shake it really, really well until you hear that little ball inside shaking, or rattling, I should say. So you're going to spray it onto your piece but make sure that you're spraying in even areas. You don't want it cooling in one place because then it will start to drip. I left the handles on the two top drawers, but took the other ones off underneath. I then painted the mirror trim with a Country Chic Paint Angle Brush. When the primer was dry, I sanded it with a 600 grit sandpaper. And then I used my one and a half inch oval Country Chic Paint brush to paint on my Country Chic Paint in crinoline. Make sure when you're brushing that you're brushing in longer strokes so that you don't get a lot of brush marks. Once it's completely dry, you're gonna to top coat it. And here is the final piece. And the stool, I actually ordered some pink faux fur. So I hope that you enjoyed that video. And if you'd like to see more, please subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. And I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.